Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Love Channel Nationally and today I'm back with another video for the Galaxy S6 Edge and today is an exciting one because we have the newer version of the Gold Eagle ROM and it has been renamed to Global Elite ROM and it is the version 3 of that ROM and the Global Elite ROM gets updated really quickly. I've seen that I've tried to download the version 1 and it was taken down because the newer version was coming out in a couple of days. Then I was trying to download the version 2 and it was taken down once again because the newer version was coming out. So the ROM gets updated really quickly right now and we're gonna install it today it is going to be just amazing so the rom that i'm using right now is the miui rom and i'm really loving this rom because it is really good looking and it is really smooth and fast you do not experience any lag and if you want to check out its review the link to the video will be right over here please do check it out and you might like this rom so let's get into it so first of all what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn off your device and now you're gonna go into the custom recovery and to do that you're just gonna press volume up key home key and power key at the same time and now you're gonna let go of the power key and now you're gonna go in wipe and you're gonna go in advanced wipe and you're gonna select the dalvik art cache system data and cache and you're gonna start to wipe and we're gonna go back back and back and we're gonna go and install and you're going to select the global elite rom 3.0 and you're going to swipe to confirm flash so the rom comes with the rom installer so it may give you some customizations and you're going to agree to this next next and we're going to clean install so next and you're going to select your device over here so you have the support for t-mobile galaxy s6 and the s6 edge and also the w8 galaxy s and s6 edge so i'm just going to select my device over here which is the international galaxy s6 edge and next and now you have some customization over here which you can select and i would prefer the s8 camera because i really like that and you also have the divine beats mod so I'm just gonna install that so that is the Dolby application that is a little bit like the Viper for Android but I prefer Viper for Android and I saw in the forum that it is not working right now the Viper for Android is not working right now so I will check out how to get the Viper for Android on this ROM a little bit later and if you want a crazy great setting for the viper for android link to the video will be right away i have made a video about it and those are just crazy settings and you will get some amazing sound out of your headphones so please do check out that video and you have the option to select fonts over here so i will go with the stock font and you can have the emojis whichever one you like so i'm gonna go with the android o emojis and I'm gonna have the black boot animation and you can select the clock position as well so I'm gonna go with right and next and you have some features over here that you can select if you want to so I'm gonna select the call block I'm gonna go with the smart manager as well so you have app lock and stuff and I'm gonna go with the black theme just to check out what the black theme is so next and you can install the features that you want over here so i'm gonna go with the accessibility functions i don't really need the easy launcher that comes with samsung and it is not that great i'm gonna go with edge features i don't have a gear and android wheel so i'm not gonna select that i am going to select the samsung magnifier post services and s finder smart switch support i don't really need stk app tool IMS Telephony app which helps with the VoLTE support so we'll see a little bit later that if the VoLTE works in this ROM or not and I'm gonna go with all share Wi-Fi direct sound alive Samsung mirror link VPN support USSD code and you also have Bixby over here so that is really great so let's select Bixby and let's see if the Bixby works correctly over here and the Bixby voice wake up works or not so I'm gonna go with Samsung calculator app and always on display let's see if the always on display has been fixed in this ROM so in the previous versions you needed a separate channel to get the always on display work so let's see if it comes integrated in this ROM or not so uh, calendar app clock galaxy app store my files weather smart manager and Samsung voice I don't really need so next 
and I'm gonna go with Super Su because some people on the forum were saying that Super Su would be better for this ROM. So next. So it is now installing the ROM and it might take 2-5 to five minutes to get installed. So I'll be back for that. So guys the ROM is done installing and we're gonna reboot the device now and it does say that the device may take a couple of minutes to start up or it may boot loop a few times as well. So don't worry about it, it will boot. And the animation felt a little faster to me. So it may take 10 to 15 minutes to boot up so just keep the device aside and let it boot up. So guys the device just booted up and it took around 15 minutes to boot up so we're just gonna quickly set it up. So guys device is booted up and it is all set up now and it looks a little bit weird to me because the icons are so big right now but it is a little bit cool too the wallpaper is uh, a little different than i hoped it would be so let's just go into bixby first of all and i will have to i think set up my samsung account over here So guys the Bixby is stuck over here so I don't think it's working but if it does I will let you know in the review and if you see you have this line over here which is representing the battery level over here and the Volti doesn't seem to work as well it says Volti E over here to enable over here but I don't think it's working so let me just disable my Wi-Fi and see if it works so it is not working so if you want a working Volti, you I have already made a video about it. The link to the video will be right over here. Just follow the video and you will get the working Volti E. And that is not a problem. And you have this S8 UI over here and that uh, 3D touch like menu over here. And let's go into home settings and let's give it a separate app screen. So it looks much better now. And the phone feels fast and let's go into the camera application and you have the assets camera application over here and zoom in feature as well so I will see if these work and that is great and you have this black theme going on over here which looks good in my opinion and if you see the edge panel you know swipe out is colored over here as well so as you can see in this over here so this is a little bit colored over here so let's go into the settings now and all of these settings have this background which is textury uh, color over here so the device name is Samsung Global Elite S6 and you have the model number of the S7 Edge so once again it is an S7 Edge port theme like the S8 so as to give a greater stability I think and for a better battery life so let's go into software info and you have the android version 7.0 so that is great too so the rom looks great and i am really liking it the rom feels really fast so i think that's it if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share the video and thanks for watching guys